Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Oh, good morning. Are you expecting anything from God on this morning? Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Yes, Lord. Do you have any expectations in your spirit or in your heart? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God has so much that he wants to do for each and every one of us. Hallelujah, Lord yes, Jesus. Lord. Won't you just give him glory right now as you prepare yourself for whatever it is that God has for you on today. Amen. Amen. Do amen. you believe him? Do you trust him? Are you a little leery right now? That's okay. Just hang in here with us. Hallelujah. Yes, as we prepare Lord. ourselves to prayer, to praise and worship God on today. Amen. 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 God bless you on today. Yes, Lord. Just prepare your spirit to receive because God is good. Yes, even on today. Yes. He is still good. Amen. 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 Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him above all creatures here below. Praise Him above His heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, I just want to give God the praise this morning and say thank you. Thank you, thank you. And good morning and welcome, welcome, welcome to Tree of Life Empowerment Ministry Church, a church that is Christ-driven and kingdom-focused. Amen. Where the Reverend Phyllis Scott is our senior pastor. And this is the day 
This truly is the day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. This morning, I will be coming from a scripture, but I just want to just talk about it, the scripture before I get there just a little bit to bring you up on how the scripture is going to flow. And we're going to be talking about Moses. We're going to be going into Moses and we're going to be talking about his last days as he's moving in the people and preparing them for the journey to go into and take possession of a new land. This is what God is preparing him for. And he's told them that the Lord, the Lord that God was going to go before them and prepare that way. So that's what we're talking about this morning because God has got a plan and he's preparing a plan and a new way for us to go. But we got to be ready to go into that new land. Land. So I'm going to give you my scripture right now because the scripture is coming so that the it is 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 uh, Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse six Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse six and it says and it says and I want you to get there with me so get your word now come on Deuteronomy 31 verse six because God got a word for you today and He's going to bring you through the valleys it says be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He said the Lord your God goes with you. That means he's walking with you right now, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. I want you to hold on to them words. He will never leave you nor forsake you. You may be seated if you're standing at home. I need you to understand that God is with you. He has never left you. He's never forsaken you. He's always been there right with you. I know that we see all this that's going on, but he gave you those promises. He gave the promise of he will never, that means never, 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 ever will you see the Lord your God abandoned or forsaken you. He's always right there with you. Even he knows your struggles. Right now he knows your struggles and he knows what you're going through, but he's right in there, right there with you. He knows how you feel. He knows you feel like giving up. He knows you feel like throwing up your hands. He knows you feel like he's nowhere around, but he's there. He's right there in the midst of it. Yeah. But I said for you to you, we all need to be confident, be confident, be courageous. As the scripture says, do not be afraid, be strong and courageous for the Lord. Your God goes with you. And when you know God is walking with you, you can make this journey. Amen. You can make this journey. He said, I need you to hold on and I need you to keep on. I need you to keep your faith. I need you to stand firm and be. He promised you this. Is, this is not something that people promise you. It's what God promised you. Yes. Right. He yes. promised you that he would never leave you nor forsake you. He promised that God is not. He don't go for it on his promise. He don't take his promises back. We do. But God doesn't. He promised you that he, he would never leave you nor forsake you. And he will not abandon you. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. Sometimes we feel abandoned. We get into prayer, we pray and we pray and we and we don't feel God coming through. But he has not abandoned you. He's he's preparing the way for you. He's restoring you. He will not desert you. Your friends way, your family may, but he will not. And he will not give up on you no matter what you go through. No matter what you've done. He has not left you. He is right there. I keep saying he's right there because he's been standing right here with me every step of the way. He's standing right there with you. Whatever the whatever you feel like, whatever you're going through, know that God is in the midst of it. And I want y'all to not focus on what's going on around you, but focus on the things that he's promised you in the kingdom. Focus on that light. To keep your mind stayed right on him. He's caring for you when you couldn't carry yourself. He's still caring for you. He's providing for when you don't even know where it's coming from. He's still providing. He's sending his angels to provide for you. Yeah. He's providing for you. He's caring for you. He knows you what your heart feels like. He knows what you're going through. We've been down that road, but I need you to stand firm and know that his promises are true. Yeah. His promises are true. We got the victory. When I say we got the victory, we got the victory. All we got to do is shout as we go through it. Just shout your way through it. When you get to the very edge and think you're going to fall over and you're about ready to tip, that's when God comes through. You got your shout because he knows he hears your cry. He has not forgotten you. Trust me, he has not forgotten you. Your victory is in your shout. No matter what comes your way, no matter what goes to your struggle, know that God is right beside you. Know that he's preparing that way for you. Know that he's got your back. He's got you covered. He's, he's protecting you. I know you may not think he is, but I want y'all to stop thinking about you and start looking at what God's doing. Step back and see what he's doing in your life. He's providing that shelter. 
He's giving you, he's giving you closing food. There's so many things that God is doing that we're looking for the big things. Just start appreciating the small things that he do. Amen. Amen. Just appreciate those small things. He's preparing the way. In, in the scripture, it said he's preparing the way. He's preparing the way. But I got another question for you. I need you to answer it. And I need you to think about it. He promised he would never leave you nor forsake you. He said he would never leave you nor forsake you. That he would always be with you. He, that he would always go before you. So he's already walking before you. He's already making a plan and a way for you. But my question is now, are you ready to go to the promised land? That's the question. He's going he's gonna to restore you. He's, he's going to take you where you need to go. But are you ready to go with him? Are you ready to go and follow him? Are you ready? That's the major question. Because when God is for you, who can be against you? All you got to do is walk and know that he's beside you every yes. step of the way. Yes, Lord. So right now, I just want you to hold those scriptures. The scripture of never leave me, nor forsake me. Always keep it close to you. Because that's the promise that God has made to you. And he never goes void on his promises. He honors his promises always. Mm -hmm. he, he honors them. And I hold on to it because I'm standing today because of the promise. He said he would never leave me nor forsake me. I know it was not I who got me where I am today. I know it was him that brought me out and got me still standing here today. Yes, I got going on. I got things running around in my household and around my, around, around no food and, 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 and providing. God makes a way. He's still providing. He's still, he's still healing. He's still making a way out of no way. He said, he, 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 what? He supplies your need each and every day. So are you ready? Are you ready? Never leave him nor forsake him. But are you ready to go into the promised land? I bring my sister, the Reverend Antone Scott. Amen. Yes, right now. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. 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 Yes, he is that yes, provider. Lord. Yes, he, is. Yes. he is that one. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. And a lot of times we're looking for God to provide the tangible, and that's okay, because he does that too. But don't you know he provides for you in the spirit yes. so that even when you don't have the tangible, when you think you need it, he provides for you in the spirit so you can praise him anyhow yes, in faith that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And he is providing in the spiritual and he does that through his workers and his spiritual leadership. And we have a pastor that is helping us to get to God in the ways that yes, we need Lord. to get to him. Yes, and right Lord. now she's doing a Bible study series. It's called The Reality of Spiritual Warfare. And you know what the topic is this Wednesday? It happens right here on Facebook Live, Wednesday at 6 p.m. It's adversity. Yes, yes Lord. Anybody having any adversity in your life? Mm -hmm. Satan's most powerful weapon. She's teaching us how to deal with what we're going through in the spiritual. We know that there's going to be adversity. But did you know it was Satan's most powerful weapon? Do you want to allow him to use adversity against you? Or do you want to know how God wants you to deal with adversity? Come on out as he prepares for you in the spiritual this Wednesday, 6 p.m. Facebook Live. Be a part of that study because God is truly a God of his word. Amen. 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 There's also a conference coming up. It's the Pain to Purpose Conference. Oh, yes. yes, yes it's Lord, happening yes, the Lord. first day of the new year. Have you experienced a lot of loss this year? A lot of struggles? A lot of adversity? Yeah, that may be true. But guess what? A new year is coming. A time yes, of Lord. renewal is coming. And if you want to walk into your new year with God right beside you, join us at the Pain to Pur Purpose New Year's Day brunch. It's happening on Facebook. We'll give you the information January 1st, 11 a.m. Those are the things that God is doing to help us, to prepare us in the spiritual. Yes. Because there's going to be challenges of, of coming 
in our lives, we got to be prepared the way that God wants us to be prepared. Amen. Amen. He also gives us a way to get to him through our prayer. So won't you join me right now as we pray, we lift up prayers to Father, our Father and Lord and Savior Jesus, our Father, Lord, God Almighty. We lift up prayers to him through the name of Jesus. Yes. And we have a prayer list. If you want to be a part of it, let us know. Put it in the comments. Send us a text, 510-688-7437. Come with me to the throne of grace and mercy. Father God, Lord Jesus, God, we believe you, Lord. We believe you, God. We understand, God, what it is that you need for us to do, God, to come before your throne of grace and mercy, yes, God, yes. to bow down our spirits before you, God, to give up on all the things we think we know, God, and hand it over to you, Lord Jesus. Right now, we come interceding on behalf of those who are on this prayer list, God. We come in faith, God. We come knowing that it is a throne of grace, that it is a throne of mercy, God. We come as sinners, God, asking you to forgive us, thought, word, or deed for whatever we did that displeased you, God. We come asking you to wash us clean through the blood of Jesus. We come lifting up Mr. and Mrs. C. Baloo. God, they got some really hard news, God. But Lord Jesus, they come face to face with this news, thanking you and praising you for the time you've blessed them with and the time you're going to bless them with, God. They come in expectation of good days yes, in spite of, God. And we pray, God, that they're having a good day full of praise in who you are, God, even in the midst of this difficult circumstance, yes, God. We pray for little Quran and Corinne, God. We pray, God, for your hedge of protection over their lives, God. God, that no hurt, harm, or danger will come to them, God. That they will grow up, God, learning who you are, God, and how to put you first. God, we come praying for our brother Dante Baker, who is a praiser and a worshiper, God. We thank you for his praise spirit on today, God. And we ask, Father God, that you lift him up, God, that you keep him lifted, God, in a time where we may not be able to see each other as much as we want to, God, but we can always visit in the spirit, God, so we lift him up before you in the name of Jesus. We lift up Mr. and Mrs. George and Billy Scott and Minister Trey and Makita easily and the Shavers family. And we lift them up because, yes, it's a season of loss, God. But it's also a season where you are still so good to us, God. You help us. You hold us up on all sides, God. And so we're asking you to hold up each family, God, during this season of loss, God. The journey goes on, God. The hurt goes on, God. But you, God, are truly a God of yes, promises, Lord. God. Yes, you're a God of faith. You're a God of healing. And we believe in you for that, Lord God. We pray for Brother Frank, God, Sister Joyce King, Sister Dorothy Smith, Lord. We lift them all up before you, Lord. Yes. You can meet each one right where they are. We can't, but you can, God. Yes. And that's why we intercede on their behalf, God. Asking you, God, to meet them right where they are, God. To bless them with your word, with your provisions, yes. God. With your knowledge and wisdom. That's what we want for them. We're praying for the men and women in law enforcement and our first responders, Lord. They have a heavy weight on their shoulders. They have a heavy responsibility, God. So we're praying they're putting their faith in you, God. We pray that they're making decisions based on you, God. We lift up the friends and family members of over 290,000 Americans who lost their lives to COVID. And we thank you for making a way out of no way, God. We ask that you touch the hearts and minds of those who have lost someone, God, and keep them lifted in the name of Jesus. Yes. We also want to pray for our pastor, Phyllis Scott, yes, and her family. Yes, God, you've Lord. been good in the midst of every trial, Thank in the Lord. midst of every tribulation. Yes. You've never left them nor forsaken them, God, as you said you wouldn't. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you Lord. And God, we lift all these Jesus. prayers as if they're already done. In Jesus' mighty and master's name, we say amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. And right now we ask our anointed pastor, blessed by the word and by his power, Phyllis.
got to join us in this service today. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Lord. Anybody, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. anybody want to accept an invitation to celebrate the Lord? Yes, Lord. Yes. Anybody want to accept the invitation to celebrate the Lord? Yes. Lord. Yes. To give him praise, yes. honor, yes. and glory. Yes. He is truly worthy. Yes. 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 Lord. Anybody yes. want to come out yes. of the shadow yes. today? Anybody yes. want to come out and just step into the light of the Lord, Lord. Yes. and let the Lord heal yes. your soul yes. and your mind yes. and your body? Yes. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes. Lord. Anybody just ready to just push yeah. their way forward, yeah. regardless yeah. of what obstacles may yeah. be in yeah. front of them, what adversities yeah. may be before them, you're yeah. ready to push your yeah. way forward. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. Lord. Thank Lord. You, Lord. Hallelujah, Thank Lord. Lord. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm just excited about yeah. the Lord this morning, yes, Lord. and I pray that you are as well. Yes. We got a few more days, a few more weeks, a few more hours. Before this merciless season will come to an end. I've been talking to many, many people, and many people have said all the same thing. I can't wait for this season to be over. Come on. But this time, come on, come on, come on. It's been spoken differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every year we say that. Yeah. I'm ready for the new year because I'm gonna make this resolution. But this year. Yes. I don't hear people talking about the resolution. Come on. I hear people saying, I'm just tired of mm. this particular type mm. of season. Come on. This merciless, ungodly, no compassion, no love season. I'm tired of seeing the death toll rise and the hatred being spewed throughout the world. And I understand. Mm. And as Reverend Antonette Hicks had mentioned, we do have, and I do want to speak to you this morning on God's promises. Yes. Because he promised us that he would never forsake us nor leave us. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he's a promise keeper. Yes, he is. And today's sermon will be about his promises. Yes, Lord. Because you got to get ready. We've got to get ready to walk into his promises. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't have to leave this season alone. Yes, this testing ground that we went through. This merciless season that we went through. A season that nobody <laughs> could ever imagine. Come We're going to have to leave it behind. Yeah. But how? Come on, Pastor. How do you take a warrior yeah. out of the war zone mm. and them not have PTS, PTD, <laughs> PTSD, post-traumatic stress? Yes. How do you take a warrior? You've been warring this war and battling this war, and now I'm asking you to prepare yourself come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. to come out of this season yes. and go into his promises. Yes, yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we will be having a awesome, awesome, awesome. If you've ever been to any of our Pain to Purpose, mm-hmm. I would love for you to think about this date. The first day of New Year's. Yes. The day that most people are hung over and just waking up and trying to make it through the rest of the day. I want you to wake up and thank God for waking up. Amen. Amen. If God allows us to wake up on that day, Amen. I want you to thank God for allowing you to wake up. Yes, because God. 2020 has been merciless. Amen. It's been a season of no mercy, no compassion, no love. Uh, uh, m- uh, many ha- have fought the good fight. Come on. And you've stayed loyal through it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But through it all, you've got some battle scars. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Let's just admit it. You've yes. got some scars. Yes, Lord. You've got wounds of the heart and scars in your mind and wounds in your very soul. Hmm. And some wounds that you had before 2020 hmm. just got worse when hmm. 2020 came. Mm-hmm. This is the season that we want to forget about. Yes. We want to move into the promise that God has for us. And so in the season of 2021, if God allows us to get there, I want you to begin moving from your pain to purpose. Amen. 
Amen. I want you to come from behind the shadows of your past mm -hmm. and get ready for the new season of purpose. Yes. Why and how? Because he promised it. Yes, Lord. And so we're going to be dealing with his promises for the rest of this year. Amen. Right. For the rest of this year, our preaching topic will be on his promises. See, because you can't take a warrior mm, come on, out of a war field nah. and put them in a peaceful place nah. and expect them to know how to <laughs> exist. Yes. We have, may have gotten unfamiliar with peace. We may have gotten torn away from what it means to have joy. We may have got pulled away what it means not to be on the edge of our seat waiting for the next bomb to drop. Mm. But we got to come into his promises. Yeah, yeah. Because in his promises, he has made some promises to us. And I think yeah. Reverend R. Hicks said that he promised that he would never forsake us and leave us. Mm -hmm. But he also promised that he would bring us in to the promised yeah, land. Yeah, 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 yeah. A land yeah. of peace, a land of joy. Yeah. He said that he would do that. Yes, Lord. Yes, he and, and I'm counting on him and I'm and I'm depending on him oh, yes. because he's a promise keeper. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And he has a long history of keeping promises. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And I'm gonna talk to you more about that in my sermon today. Amen. He's got a long history and, and how you got to rest your hope in the one that has kept his promises oh, yeah. for a long time. Oh, yeah. Even though it may look really bad and on, you don't know how 2021 is going to straighten it out. See, I, 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 I think Joe Biden got a good message and, and I think Kamala Harris got a good message, but, but they don't have the perfect message. On, they don't have the message that's going to solve all your problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. The promise keeper does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah, yeah, promised yeah. that he would. Yeah. Yes, he would. So I don't want you to think that I'm encouraging you to think that Biden and Kamala and the new administration is going to bring you into that promised land. I'm telling you to look at the promises of the promise keeper that have never failed, that have always come true. The promise keeper that has seasons of love for you. Yes, Lord. I want you to keep your eyes on the promise keeper. Yeah, 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 Don't yeah. get twisted. Yeah, Don't yeah, get yeah. led astray. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I pray for the new administration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pray that they can do a good thing. Yeah. But I know a promise keeper who will do uh, yeah, a good yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. he promised that he would. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, so that's Lord. what we're going to be dealing with. Tree of Life Empowerment oh, Ministry yeah. Church from this pulpit. As long as God says so, Amen. I want to bring you into his promises Amen. so that when 2021 gets here, you'll know that the promise keeper huh. said so. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Lord. Praise Thank you, Lord. Some glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Give him glory in yes, your life. Lord. You yes, believe Lord. that he's a promise giver. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, All is. by yourself, you can give him glory. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We yes, thank God. Yes. We thank God here at Tree of Life. And um, we're always trying to lift the Lord yes. up. And we are in our holiday season. Amen. 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 And this is a time where we celebrate Jesus. Yes. We celebrate him. Amen. And it, even though we may not know the exact day he mm -hmm. was came onto this earth we still choose Christmas to celebrate the fact that he did that he was born onto this yes, earth Amen. Yes, yes. and so won't you join Tree of Life for our Christmas celebration service which will be on Wednesday yes. December 23rd at 6 p.m. During our Bible study hour. Amen. 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 We're going to celebrate Christmas. Celebrate Amen. Jesus. Thank celebrate you. God's goodness. Ooh, yes. Amen. Amen. And if you want to sow a seed into a good ministry that does celebrate God and all his glory and all that he is and does. This is a good place to do it. Amen. Amen. We have several ways you can sow a seed into this ministry that is truly, truly, truly doing the work of the Lord. Um, and one of those ways is our cash app. If you're struggling, you're not really sure about this tithing thing. It's the Lord that tell us, tells us to bring the tithes into his storehouse in his word, all through his yes. word in Deuteronomy and Malachi 3, yes, 7 through yes, 10. He tells yes. us that we are cursed with a curse. 
But he also tells us that we're blessed if we do bring the tithes into the storehouse. If we don't, it's because we're cursing ourselves, not because God is doing something to us. It's because we're holding our hands like this. And so God can't give us all Come that he now. wants to give us. But when we open up our hands, then there's a free flow mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. heaven to the earth yeah. in your spirit with your mm -hmm. relationship with God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So you got to open your hands like this giving and receiving so God can do what he wants to do in his life. Amen. But if you're struggling, you're just not sure, you want to do just a little bit, you just want to test this thing mm -hmm. out, you're a little fearful, I understand that. You can do that. You can give $50 or less on our Tolem Cash app. And our name is Tolem. It's the acronym for Tree of Life Empowerment Ministries. T-O-L-E-M. Church. That's our cash app name. If you want to give a donation, $50 or less. If you're a member and you want to give your regular tithe or offering, you can do that. You can call the church phone at 510-688-7437. Ask your class leader to stop by and pick up your tithe or your offering. Or you can call that number and we have the square. We can take a donation over the telephone. Or if you want to go to our PayPal account, you can do that. Go to the website, Empowering Lives, E-M-P-O-W-E-R-I-N-G-L-I-F-E-S dot com. And click on the Contact Us page and click on Donate. And you can give via our PayPal. We put that link in the comments section for you if you want to do that. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is good soil. Amen. Yes, amen. I've, yes, I've been in the ministry for a, a little bit of time. And God has truly, truly come through yes, this Lord. ministry in my life, in my spiritual walk, in my growth, in my journey. And I know I have some witnesses <laughs> here with me today, yes, joining Lord. us today on the work yes, uh, that Tree of Life does. Amen. 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 And we are going to read the word for today. Amen. Amen. And why, why don't you take this moment to find that word? It's in 2 Peter, mm -hmm. uh, chapter 3, verses 2 through 4. We're going to be in 2 Peter. Turn with me. I'm turning right now as well. I'm turning to 2 Peter, chapter 3, mm -hmm. verses 2 through 4. And it's important for us to turn to the word of God for ourselves yes, because Lord. this is about our relationship with God. And we want to get all that he has for us. And as we participate, the word penetrates. Amen. Amen. So I pray you've had enough time to turn to 2 Peter chapter 3. And let's uh, read the word of God together. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to start at verse 2 and read through 4. It says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Hmm. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Amen. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. And after this song of celebrating just how good God is, once again, you'll hear from our pastor, Reverend Phyllis Scott. Amen. 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 Give myself away. I give myself away. 
give ourselves away to God so that he can begin to use us as he would have us to be used. Oh, just listen to the words. He said, I give myself away. That means you empty out everything that's going on the inside of you. Just pour it out and let him use you. Let him come in and let him sit with you. Just give your hand. Yes. My life. Our life should always be in his hands. Amen. Yes, Lord. He's longing. Jesse. Your desire that you have in me. Yes, so you what? I give myself away. That's what you do. Just give yourself. Just empty out and say, I give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away. He can't use you if you don't empty out and submit. Just open yes, up and give Lord. yourself to God. I give myself away. Yes. So you can use me. Take my heart. Just take his heart. Take everything. Your life. As a living sacrifice, just, just let him have it. Just sacrifice yourself. Yes. Yes. He takes you in your hand. submitting myself. I'm giving myself as a living sacrifice. So you, Lord God, can use me. Hallelujah. I give myself away. Just open your mouth and begin to speak those words. your own. To you, to you, you belong to him, so give yourself. Give Just give yourself. Give say it again. Say it again. Just say it. My life is not my own. It's not. It's not to you. To you, God, I belong. And I just give myself. Hallelujah. Yes. I give myself to you. Just one more time. My life is not my own. It's not my own. To you, I belong to Him. Yes, yes. I give myself. I give myself to you. Yes. My life is not my own. To Him I belong. Yes. I give myself. I give myself to you. Life is not my own. You say it over and over again. You and just begin to believe and just say, just give yourself so away. You yes. Can use me. I give myself away. Life is not my own. To you I feel. I give myself away. I give myself. So I give myself to you. you. I give myself away. Just give yourself the way to God. Oh, yeah. Just give yourself, because you belong to Him. Just give yourself away so He can use you. Amen. Amen. Just let Him come in. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Are you ready for the Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? the word from on high? Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Woman of God, bring forth you 
the awesome and mighty Hallelujah. word. Yes, Lord. Reverend Phyllis Scott. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Giving ourselves to God yes, completely Lord. and wholly is easy to say, but so difficult to do. Yes. All right. Because it requires us to give up our desires and Come to on. give up our our own self ambitions and to allow God to use us for his glory and for his cause. Yes. What yes, an Lord. awesome, awesome yes, blessing yes. upon your lives if you can ever get to the point of giving yourself to God. Yes. What a glorious thing to do, to yes. be used by the glory of God. Amen. As this new administration takes place, people are excited about being called by Joe Biden mm -hmm. to come and serve on his administration, mm -hmm. as they should be. Mm -hmm. It is an honor to serve, but it is an even greater honor when our Lord God calls you to himself yes. and yes. says, I'm calling you to give yourself to me mm -hmm. and serve me for not a season, but for the rest of your life. Yes. That's a great honor. Yes. And if you can get to that, you ought to give God the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Thank you, Lord. Give you yourself to him to become yes, Lord. a servant in his yes, own, Lord. Own, his cabinet, yes, 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 in yes, his yes, administration, yes, the administration yes, of yes, high yes, glory yes, that yes. you've given yourself, earthly man and woman, yes. to God to be yes. used in his administration. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Lord. Great work you shall do yes, when Lord. you allow God to use yes, you. Lord. Greater things you shall do yes, when Lord. you allow God to use yes. you. Yes. So we just thank you, Lord, thank for you, Lord. Uh, thank you. allowing us the opportunity yes, to give ourselves to you yes, Lord Lord. God. the scripture has been read to you from the King James Version and I'm going to read this scripture today from the New Living Translation of the Holy Word Amen. as I said earlier we're going to be speaking on God's promises and when I started my journey into preparing for this sermon there were so many promises that were so <laughs> magnificent, so magnificently powerful that the Lord God had made that I was from Genesis all the way back to <laughs> Peter's right. and into Hebrew. There were so many, and I said, there's no way that you can speak of his promises because he's made and kept so many of them. <laughs> and then it dawned on me the promises that he made in the Old Testament mm -hmm. are still being held up today. Yes, yes Lord, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're living on his promises. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Yes, the Lord. same promises he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Way we're still in. living on yes, them right. because he is a promise keeper. Yes, yes, he is. So I settled myself in 2 Peter 3, mm -hmm. 2 through 4. Right. Amen. And I'm reading it from the New Living Translation of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It says, I want you to remember what the Holy Prophet said long ago. And what our Lord and Savior commanded through your apostles. Most importantly, I want to remind you that in the last days, scoffers will come mocking the truth mm -hmm. and following their own desires. They will say what happened hmm. to the promises that Jesus is coming again. All right. From before the time of our ancestor, everything has remained the same since the word was first created. Mm -hmm. You may be seated. Yeah. These are the promises of the Lord mm -hmm. that we would live in a day where the Lord is coming soon and yet people will have doubted his promise. Mm -hmm. People would have doubted the promise that was made way back in days of Joshua Way back in the days of Moses, mm -hmm. they would have forgotten them. They would have thought that there was so much going on that where is this promise mm -hmm. that you spoke of? Mm -hmm. Well, let me go to the Lord in prayer and then I'll share that with Amen. you. All right. Lord Amen. God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. Mm -hmm. Bearing, Lord God, the burden of this service today. 
and asking you, Lord God, to help me, Lord God, yes. to deliver a word that will be clear Hallelujah. and precise to those that listen yes, yes. and that want to hear yes. about your promises. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I can't do this without you. Yes, I yes. need the preacher man to come yes. so that I may stand behind him yes. and he may go before me. Yes, Lord. So Lord God, give me the uh, courage, the strength, mm. but more importantly, God, bless me with your Holy Spirit yes. that I may speak a word from on high. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You see, promises are only only as good as the one who makes the promise. All okay. right, say that. Say that. So when you see scoffers, I understand. I understand because you may have been one of them scoffing because you've had so many broken promises mm -hmm. being given to you. And so you say, what's the difference? I see you see what I'm saying? Look at the world, it's a mess. Mm -hmm. And where are the promises that the Lord promised us? But promises are only as good as the one who makes the promise. Okay. For the promises are not bound by just the words, mm -hmm. but are bounded by the ability of the one who made the promise mm -hmm. to come through with the promise. Okay. See, I can promise you a million dollars. And I can say it with all sincerity of my heart. Right. But if I don't have a million dollars anywhere to give you and I don't have any way of getting a million dollars, right. my promise meant nothing. And, and see, that's the problem with people that make promises. Yeah. When people make promises, they, they may have good intentions, but but some kind of way they just can't fulfill the promise. Mm -hmm. So what do they do? They forget, they forget about it and hope you forgot about it too. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's why there may be yeah. so many scoffers, so many people that are doubting that God's going to do what he said he's yes. going to do because they've been made so many promises in the midst of their hopelessness when they needed to be restored and renewed and lifted up and somebody came by and said I got something that's going right. to help you uh -huh. but then they never came back again right. See, right. a promise is not a wish a hope a promise should be done uh, with good intentions, but it should be done in a way that it should bring forth what? The promise. Mm -hmm. I promise because I know I can deliver on my promise right. to you. A promise is not just a, 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 an ideal or, a, or a talking. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a value talking okay. point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if the promise maker, the one that makes the promise, does not value his or her promise, mm. and the promise then is DOA, mm. dead on arrival. Now, ain't no mean nothing, uh, because there was nothing that they could do yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. It meant nothing before he finished speaking. Right. It was already dead. Mm. Right. <laughs> the promise maker yes. has to be valuable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It has to be valuable to that person. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The yes. promise maker is a promise maker of good and beneficial promises. We're not talking about I promise to get you. I promise to pay you back. We're mm -hmm. talking about the see the, yeah. We're talking about the good promises, yeah. the promises that restore, yeah. the Come ones on. that bring hope yeah. rather than the ones that tear you down. It's, have you ever noticed that it's easy for a promise? That when they promise to tear you down, to come through, because they can get on the phone and lie about you. They can walk around and talk about you. They can do things that are hurtful to you. And they will say to you, I promised you I was going to get you. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. But when the promise is to restore, on, when the promise is to give hope, yeah. when the promise is to take you and have a door that's been closed open to you, those are the promises that are harder to come by yeah. because it means that the yeah, person absolutely. making the promise has to value yeah, you yeah, 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 and yeah. has to value their promise. Yeah. Yeah. Promises that gives one a, a, a reason to hold on to mm -hmm. something that not only to hold on to, but to rise you up from the pits of despair. Mm -hmm. Those are the types of promises that we typically fall short on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's easy for us to promise to beat you up, mm -hmm. tear you down, right. talk about you, right. not hang around you. Mm -hmm. It's easy to make those promises. I promise you I'm not going to ever speak to you again. Mm -hmm. I promise you I'm going to get back to you. But when we promise to restore and uplift and to give hope, mm -hmm. those are promises hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. It has to be someone that loves deeply and cares deeply yeah. and understands beyond its own self and values the nature of the promise. Mm -hmm. No matter what goes on, they're going to keep 
their promise. Come on, come on. That's a promise keeper. Yeah. A promise keeper doesn't worry about the obstacles that are around them, mm-hmm. the situation that they're in. If they promised it, they're going to keep it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, no matter what happens mm-hmm. or how it may bad it may appear, the promise that is made still stands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No matter yeah. how dark it is. Yeah. No matter how much they may have lost, mm-hmm. the promise still stands. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's winter, rain, sleet, or Come snow, on. no on. matter what season they're in, yeah. the promise keeper keeps their promise. The promise still stands. Yeah. Come on now. Yes, yes, yes. yes Lord. A yes, promise Lord. keeper, a true promise keeper, has a record of long promise keeping. Mm-hmm. You know that what they say mm. comes true because they have demonstrated to you that they are not going to let you down. Yes. Yes. That they're going to keep their promise yes, to you. Lord. The promise keeper doesn't worry about who's scoffing, who doesn't believe. All right. The promise keeper keeps his promise. Yes, Lord, when you yes, look Lord. at our text, uh, 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 you see that there were scoffers mm-hmm. that, that, that scoffed the promise mm-hmm. yeah, that the yeah. Lord made yeah. way back in the day. Yeah. But I want to take you back there. All I right. want you to go back there and remember what they were laughing at. All right. in, in the book of, of, of Exodus, okay. uh, the second chapter in verse 24, uh, the Lord heard the cries of, uh, of his people yeah. in Exodus. Exodus, the second chapter and 24, it tells you that he heard them groaning and, and he remembered his covenant or promise with Abraham, not with them, but with their ancestors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made a promise way before them. Yeah, yeah. He made a promise to Abraham yeah. Isaac, and, and yeah. Jacob yeah. that he would take care of their ancestry line. And, yeah, yeah, and he yeah, remembered yeah. Their, 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 the promise that, that he made and, yeah. and he went and he let the Israelites go yeah, based yeah, on yeah, what? Yeah. Based on the promise that he made to them. Ah, yeah. and, and he carried them through like he said that he would do, just like he has made to us yeah. today. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're scoffing. They're scoffing. They're scoffing. But Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had not seen the despair of the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But the promise was made to them. Yes, yes. And the promise was kept because the promise keeper valued the promise that he made. Yes. The promise keeper had the power to do what he said he yes. would do. Yes, 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 yes. The promise keeper had the compassion, yes. even though many of them turned away. The promise keeper kept his promise mm-hmm. in and out of season, yes. no matter how bad it looked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter how much they went through, the promise keeper kept their promise. Yes. Yeah, we can go down the line of all the promises. And then can you imagine how I want you to put yourself in the Israelites position because they heard about the promise. They heard about the promise. And so they called out to the God that they heard would deliver them. And they reminded him, Lord, that's what you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. And that's yeah. what he did. Yes, yes Lord, he did. yes, he did. Yes, he but did. oftentimes, even though God keeps his promise, mm-hmm. we break our promise. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, you better mm-hmm. say that. And so as yep. the Israelites went through the journey, went through the struggle, hallelujah. Yes. Oh, do you hear me now? Mm-hmm. I need you to understand something because we're living under the promise, but we're still struggling. Mm-hmm. Yes. We're living under yes. the promise, but we're still going yep. through yes. it. Yes. We're living under the promise, but we still have great adversity. Mm-hmm. Yes. But he promised was what? That he would deliver us, yes. hallelujah, yes. and not forsake us yes. or leave us. He did not promise you wasn't going to go through no. something. No. Yes. 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 And so I'm getting ready to just take you through a little whirlwind of the Bible here. So when he took them out of Egypt and, and delivered them, he kept his promise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He kept his promise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they had to go through yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, the valley. They had to yeah. go through the desert. They had to go through the struggle of getting where God wanted them to go. Yeah. And many of them fell short 
even Moses. Yes, yes. Come on, yes, Pastor. Come on, that's right. Come on, Moses. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Even Moses, even Moses yes. fell. Yes. And, and, and so Moses was not able to go into the promise. Look at that's the name right. of the land. Yeah. The yeah. promised yeah. land yeah. that yeah. he had promised them to go into. Yeah. I, mm, I'm yeah. getting ready to take you on this journey. Okay. Okay. I okay. promise you, you will not be disappointed. On, I yeah. promise you, you should understand yeah. when I finish this journey. And, and so Joshua gets now yeah. the mantle because God made a promise. Yeah. He didn't promise him that Moses would bring him through. He promised him that he would bring him through. Yeah. That he would deliver him. And so he brought Joshua in. Yeah. And can you imagine? Joshua was a little boy yeah. underneath Moses' foot. Yeah. Joshua was running around playing. Joshua may have still been nursing at his mother's breast, but now Joshua was a man. And now Joshua had been given the responsibility mm-hmm. to carry them what? The rest of the way. Yes, he did. And in, in, in our scripture here, it will tell you in, in, in uh, Joshua 1 and 3. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's go there. Let's go there. Come on, go with me. Come on, go with me. Joshua 1 and 3. He says, I promise you, this is the Lord speaking to Joshua. Mm-hmm. Okay. I promise you. What I promised Moses. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise you, Joshua. All right. What I promised to Moses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, I, I promise you today mm-hmm. what I promised to Joshua. Yeah. yeah what yeah, I yeah. promised to Moses. Yeah. yeah I promise yeah, you yeah. today. Yeah. And I kept. Oh, see what I'm trying to say. You don't understand. Yeah, yeah. He's got a history yeah. of keeping promises. He's got a history of coming over bad yeah, yeah, times. Yeah, 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 He's yeah. got a history of coming over obstacles. Yeah, yeah. He's got a history of bringing you through troubled times. Mm-hmm. He's a promise keeper yeah, that you can way. depend on. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I promise you in verse 3, in Joshua 1 and 3, mm. I promise you what I promised Moses. Yes, Lord. Wherever you set foot, you will be on the land I have given you. Yes, right. Hallelujah. Yes. Drop down to verse 6. Uh-huh. Be strong and courageous. Well, for now. you are the ones who will lead these people to possess all the land. I swore. Yeah. Now he didn't raise it up. I swore. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? On, to their ancestors I would give them. Yes. Be strong and very courageous. Yes. Hey, that's the promise that he yeah, promised yeah. Joshua. And you know the story. They moved and they went forward because they were under the promise, not under Joshua. Yes. Come they on, weren't under God. Joshua. They're under the not under Moses. Mm-hmm. Yes. They're under the promise of yeah, God. Yeah. The same yeah. promise that yeah. we're under today. Yeah. The same promise that he would never forsake us nor leave us. Yeah. The same promise that will take us through enemy territory yeah, 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 and yeah. place us in the midst of them. Read the text to Joshua. He set Joshua down in front of every enemy yes, known did. to the Israelites yes, and did. yet put a hedge of protection. Yes, yes, because it wasn't the promise of Joshua. It, it was, was the promise of the Lord. Yes. And when you're under the promise of the Lord, huh, you're not under the promise of the physical That's leader. Right. Right. You're under the promises of God. Yes, yes, I don't yes, have yes, a promise yes, to yes. give you yes. that I can keep, but I know a promise keeper who can keep it. Yes. Hey, hallelujah. Yes. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah! Yes, Lord. Come on. Yes. Yes, a true promise keeper has a record of promise keeping. Yes. Mm-hmm. He knows how to keep his record because he's demonstrated it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Yes, so we Lord. know that and, and, and yes, that this, the people of Israel were held captive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They had no power to get out on their own. Mm -hmm. They were slaves to the system Mm -hmm. and unimaginable hardship. Mm. They were uh, 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 being ravished by political and economical despair. Mm -hmm. Mm, Sound familiar, Mm -hmm. don't it? Let me say it again. Mm -hmm. They were living under political and economical despair and they were weak to do anything yes, about it. They, yes. they had to live under what the government had placed out. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh my God. God. They had to live under the economical strain of not having enough. Mm-hmm. They had to live under the not having enough, not power to move and make political changes. Come on, come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. Uh, with no hope in sight other than the promise. Yeah, 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 they yeah, had yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. to rely on but 
the promise. Yes. Yes. And, and the promise would have to be good enough. Yes. It's the same today. We are in an economical struggle mm. unlike we've ever seen before. Yes. Uh, 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 people are in line around the block two and three times waiting to get food. Uh, yes. uh, right. uh, uh, the uh, economy has fallen. The stock market has fallen. People, have, if they had a 401k, they didn't dive into their 401k just to make ends meet. Uh, but the promise, yeah. the promise is still there. Yeah. The promise is still not weak. Yeah. The promise is still strong. Yeah. The promise is still powerful. Yeah. Why? Because the promise keeper said so. Yeah. Uh, 430 years, uh, the Israelites cried out for God to come and deliver them mm -hmm. from the mess that they were in, from yeah. the carnage that they were in. And he promised them that they would, but yeah. he didn't promise them the time. No, See, he promised to take you out, but he doesn't give you a time. No. He tells you what he's going to do, yeah. and you got to depend on the promise. Oh, yeah. my God. On, you got to depend on the promise keeper. Yeah. And Keeper that has compassion, yeah. love, and a history of keeping yeah. his promise. Yeah, he may not tell you when he's going to come, but he's always oh, on time. Yeah. Always on time. Yes, Lord. Oh, the promise keeper. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God hears your groaning and he hears your crying out to him. And you got to remember that you're not living under your pastor. You're not mm. living under the leaders. You're living under the promise. Yeah. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. You're living and waiting for the promise to be fulfilled. Yes. In Hebrews 13 and 5, let's go there. Hebrews 13 and 5. I told you I was all over the place. Amen, amen. I'm all over the place here in Hebrews and 13 and 5. But I'm not all over the place with the message. <laughs> but the message right. is just all over the place. Come on, there we go. He says uh, in Hebrews 13 and 5, I will never fail you. I will never Abandon you. Yes. Come on, that's it. That's there you it. go right there. There he is. Go down to six. Yeah. So we can say with confidence, because I want you to say this, the Lord is my helper, so I will have no fear. Yes. What can mere people Come do on. to me? Yes. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, because yes, what? Yes, yes. He doesn't yes, fail yes, me, yes. and he yes. never will abandon yes, me. Right, that's, right. Right. that's a promise. Yes. That's a promise. That's a promise yes. from the promise keeper. Yes. So as we are in these days, and we're winding down, we're winding down, I, I want you to remember that the promise keeper is going to allow us, hallelujah, if he allows us to go into this new season. Yes. He promised us to go into mm. a promise of hope. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on yes, Lord. yes, Lord. A promise of hope. Yes, Lord. Why? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's go to Psalm 94. Amen. I know you're thinking, well, this ain't no Bible study. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Anytime you open the Bible, you ought to learn Come something. On. Hallelujah. You ought to learn Come something. On. Every time you open the Word yeah. of God, you ought to learn something. Yeah. Hallelujah. So don't be fooled. Uh, uh, we can, we can uh, preach, shout, and study at the same time. Time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 94 14 says, The Lord will not reject his people. He will not abandon his special provisions. And that's a promise. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He right. says, The Lord, if the Lord's name is on it, if the Lord has stamped it, then you can take that to the bank. Hey, 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 and I'm not talking to hey. about the banks down here on earth. I'm talking to the heavenly banks, yeah. to the heavenly courts. Yeah. I'm not worried about what man doing down here. Huh? I can take it to the heavenly court because his promise is a heavenly promise. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. So as we look at the text that I was in mm -hmm. originally, mm -hmm. I know we didn't jump around, but the, right. in good, the text good, in, good. In, in Second uh, Peter, where mm -hmm. it says that mm -hmm. people were scoffing, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and people were did not uh, uh, remember yes. uh, uh, the promises. They felt that the promises were were no good because what? Because they didn't see them the way they mm -hmm. wanted to mm -hmm. see them. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. They didn't understand that we're living in the moment yes, yes, of promises. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. How you think you making it? Come on, Pastor. Yes, Lord. The Israelites caught up in a political and economical war where they were the weakest, but yet Pharaoh was afraid of them. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they continued to prosper. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. you think you're supposed to have. They may not look 
like you wanted to look. Come but on. I need you to get out the way. On, get out the way of what? Of God's promises. And let his promise take root yeah. in you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So that you may live yeah. in the splendor and beauty of his promises. Yes, yeah. Lord. Yes, How can Lord. that happen? Thank How can that happen? Because on, the man. promise yeah. keeper has a long history yeah, yeah, of yeah. keeping promises. Yeah. I just right. showed you. Yeah. I took you all the way back yeah. to Exodus. Yeah. And I brought you all the way up yeah. to Hebrew yeah. to show you. I told you you're going to take a yeah. journey. Because yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. I was journeying this morning. I yeah, was yeah, journeying yeah, yeah, yeah. early this morning. <laughs> Just going on the pilgrimage of God's yeah, promises, yeah, yeah. walking yeah. through them, saying, Lord God, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're still living under the yeah, promises yeah, yeah. of Lord. the Lord. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And so this morning, this morning, this morning, I pray that yeah. you see the promises of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I pray that you understand that even though it may not look the way you want it to Come look. On now. That you're still living, 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 yeah, yeah, not yeah. dying, living yeah. under his promise. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That you can still yeah. give a praise report. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Tell people what God is doing for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the midst of an economical and a political struggle yeah, yeah. unlike we have never seen before. Mm -hmm. right. Maybe since the days of Moses, mm -hmm. since the days of the Israelites. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God hears our groaning and yeah. remember yes, his promises yes, to yes. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. And he will remember his promises to us. Yes, Amen. 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 And what promise is that? That the Lord will never forsake you or leave you. Yes, Lord. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good to know. That's good yeah. to know. Yeah. The Lord keeps all his promises because he's a promise keeper and right. he can't be unfaithful to himself. That's good. That's good. Yeah, That's good yeah, to yeah. know. But there's another one. Mm -hmm. And that is his son is coming back. Yeah. 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 I promise you my son is coming yeah. back. I promise you you will not remember mm -hmm. him torn and battered and bruised. Yeah. I promise yeah. you that he will come back victorious. Yeah. I yeah. promise yeah. you that when he comes yeah. back he will take care of all yes, this mess on yeah. the earth of you and you that believed in the coming yeah. of the yeah. head. Promises. Yeah. You that stood Lord. on my promises, you that waited yeah. on the promise of the Lord, yeah. will see the glory of the Lord yeah. coming down yeah. and changing forever yeah. the way we live. Yeah. This normal, they call normal, yeah. is nowhere near yeah. normal because yeah. God did not plan yeah. this. Yeah. 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 But when the Lord comes back, oh, yes, when the Lord comes back, mm -hmm. yes. He uh -huh. will fulfill His promise. Yes, Lord. To us yes, Lord. Because He is a promise keeper. Yes, yes, Lord. So in Second Peter's three, yes, when we go back to that scripture mm -hmm. in Second Peter's three, uh, Hallelujah, where He says here, Oh, I'm in the wrong scripture. Some of y'all. There we go. <laughs> now I'm there. I'm with you now. All right. In Second Peter 3 says, most importantly, mm -hmm. I remind you that in the last days, scoffers will come mocking mm -hmm. the truth and following their own desires. They yes. will say, what happened to the promises mm -hmm. that Jesus is coming again from before the times of our ancestors? Before the time I just <laughs> read to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's reminded the same since the world was first created. Don't worry about it. Mm. They scoffed at, at mm. Noah when mm. he right. built the ark. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry mm -hmm. about them. You stand yes, right. on his promises. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When people yeah. say, why are you getting up yeah. early yeah. in the morning, yeah. praying on the prayer line? Yeah. Ain't nothing happened. Oh, yeah, it has. Yeah. Yeah. I'm standing because Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. when you are at the service every Sunday, whether it's streamed or what? I can't wait. Hmm. I want to get back in front of the yes, altar Lord. of God. Yes, I want to kneel back down at a church at the yes, altar of God. Lord. I miss it so much, yes, but yes, if yes, I can't, Come on, yes, Pastor. Come on. I understand that the church is not a promise, Come on. but his word is. Yeah. The building is not a promise, right. but the word of God is yeah. the yeah. promise. Yeah. And so I kneel down wherever I can kneel Hallelujah. down. I bow down Hallelujah. wherever I can 
and bow down. Hallelujah, I give Lord. praise Hallelujah, to Lord. God whenever I can give oh, praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Because the promise is as good as the promise yeah. giver. And the promise giver is Almighty God. Hallelujah. His Hallelujah. promises have been proven throughout history. Yeah. He doesn't have to vote for a captain. Mm -mm. He got a merit hey, of angels hey, hey. covering him. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. He don't have to get no house Lord. ready. He's got many mansions hey, yeah. for all of us to partake of. Oh, my God. My God, my God, my God. I want to hang on, lean on, and depend on the promise keeper. Because his promises will never fail. Scoffers may scoff. People may naysay and turn their back on God. Uh, but God will never turn his back right. on his promises. Right. Yeah. To God be the glory. Yeah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise God, yes, the promise yes, keeper. Pastor mm -hmm. Sky started off so strong Ooh, like she yeah. always does. Oh, Jesus. And she just slapped us with promises are only as good as the one <laughs> who was. makes That's the promise. That's what she said. Isn't that a reality yeah. check for you? Lord, yes, promises are only hmm. as good as the yes, one who yes, makes the yes, promise. That's the one she said. They're not just words, but it's wow. it's the ability of the one making the promise. Yes, Lord. The words yes, Lord. and the ability. Yes, yes, but didn't she reassure yes, us yes, she about our promise keeper? Yes, yeah. Lord. There's only one who we know we can count on. There is only one that we know we can depend on no matter what. He's the promise keeper. She took us through the scriptures, yes, told Lord. us about just a few of them. Amen. Amen. And she yes. said he has a history of keeping his promises. Yes, he I know I have an amen on that yes, one. Amen. Has he kept any Thank promises you, to you? Yes, he has Lord. a history. You're not under the promises yes, of the spiritual yes, leader, she told us. She showed us how that promise went from generation to generation. It didn't stop with Moses. Mm -mm. Moses made some mistakes. He wasn't a perfect man. And still the promises of God were yes. born yes, Lord. to Joshua. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. For the people. Yes. Moses and Joshua were just the messengers. Yes, yes. But the promise came from on high. That's right. And then she says something that you really have to consider for such a time as this. She said, you're still living under the promise, even though you're struggling. Yes, you Amen. are. Even though you might be suffering, even though it might be hard. Yeah. You are here because of the promises. You are still standing because he is a yes, promise Lord. keeper. Yes, I don't know about you, but I can I say amen to that. Amen. God is good. Oh, He's God. kept all his promises. Yes, yes. Not one he let fall. And she told us about the ultimate promise, which is the promise of hope. That Jesus is coming. Yeah, but not yeah, only yeah. is he coming. Yeah. He's coming victorious. Yes, yeah. Lord. He's coming as the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Oh, He's Thank coming Lord. with every promise that you've been yes, waiting Lord. for. He's Lord. coming to yes, lift you Lord. up yes, Lord. to where He is. Yes, right. With His Father. Yes, Lord. Everlasting to everlasting. Mm. Can we praise God? Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For his promise. Praise the Lord. And once again, we bring our anointed pastor, oh, yes. Reverend Phyllis Scott. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for your promises. Thank you. I know we used to have a little book that said the promises of God. It was yes. just a full booklet. Yes. If you ever get a chance to order that book or go on Amazon or go on your uh, whatever, you, wherever you order your books and you yes. order that book, it's a little booklet. We used to give them out free when we were going out in ministry. Yes. And it was the promises of God and yes. so many yes. of them. And you will be blessed by them and you will be assured that the Lord is still watching over us yes, and keeping Lord. his promises to us. One thing that you can always be mindful of is that he is 
purposeful in his purpose. Oh, yes, yeah. he is. He has a purpose. There was a purpose for releasing the Israelites, that they may glorify and worship him. And oh, yes. That would demonstrate the strength of God that his God had given them as he placed them in the midst of their enemies. And some of you may feel that you're right now in the midst of many enemies all around you. Maybe they're not the Canaanites or the Hittites or the Persians. Maybe they're not those guys, but maybe there's something different. Maybe there are different elements to your life that bring about an enemy. Maybe it's an enemy of trying to struggle and make ends meet. Maybe it's your living conditions or maybe it's your spouse or your children or the environment that you're in. Maybe you feel that these are your enemies. Well, right now, I need you to just lift your hands to the Lord. Oh, yes. Yes. Lord. Hallelujah, God. And just say, Lord, Lord God, Lord God. Yes, I believe in your promises I believe in your promise. that you will never leave me nor forsake me. I believe, Lord God, that you will put my enemies at my feet oh, yes. and that you will keep a hedge of protection all around me. I believe in your promises, Lord God. And so, Lord God, let me be at peace in your promise. In your promise. Let's glorify yes. the Lord. When God, when you can rest in his promises, you can rest. Yes. yes. You will get a good night's sleep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. You'll think about those things that are heavenly bound rather than those things on the earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. So much trials yes. and tribulations upon yes. you. So today I just want you to just take some time and just not remember the bad time that you're in, but remember what God is doing yes, in Lord. the midst of these Ooh, bad times that you're that. in. I'm a witness. Yes, I'm Lord. a witness to what God can do. Yes, Lord. I, I'll tell that story at another time. Many of you may know the story, yes, but you may yes. not know because I want to come from behind the shadows. Yes. I want to come from behind the shadows and tell the story not of how I made it over, but how I continue to believe yes. I yes. 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 until we walk into the kingdom. Amen. Yes. Yes. So how I keep standing, how yes. I keep believing yes, in yes. his yes. promises. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Lord. If you look at the book in t Second uh, Peter, 3 and 13, one of the things that it said was that scoffers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, some of you need, I'm going to give you a little secret. I'll give you a little secret into believing in his promises. Cut some folks loose, please. That's right. Some Amen. people will constantly keep negativity. <laughs> Come on, Pastor. Some That's people true. will constantly tell you all the terrible things yes. that you don't need to hear. Yes. See, those are scoffers. Yes. Those mm -hmm. are scoffers that keep you feeling like, whoa, is me. I just can't make it. Mm -hmm. They take your mind off of God and put your mm -hmm. mind in you mm -hmm. and in your pain and in your suffering. And God knows that there's pain and suffering yes. already in you. Yes. Why you need someone to constantly be around you on, to man. remind yes. you of your yes. pain yes. and suffering. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. I have found that when you put yourself around people yes. that will lift you up and encourage you oh, and yeah. Yeah. they will continue to remind you through their faith and through yes. their love and through their that. perseverance that he's a promise keeper. Yes. They Lord. may not say those words but because yes. they're walking so why yes. are you hanging around with people yes. that don't yes. have that Belief in the promise. You, mm -hmm. you yes. got, you got, you got that 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 boyfriend that don't mm -hmm. believe, and so mm -hmm. he constantly pulling you down. And you know, the ones that are closest to you are the ones that can get you. Mm -hmm. They can get you real good. Yes. You got, you got friends that don't believe. You got, yes. you got, you got, you got uh, in-laws and parents, and, on, and, and 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 you hang and you just hang with people that don't believe, and then you want to know why you're down. Come on. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, the promises of <laughs> promises of hope. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. restoration yeah. and fulfillment. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Even in the midst of all this. Yeah. Hallelujah. You, but Lord. you gotta believe. Yes, yes Lord. In his promises. Yes. In his promises. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, this is one promise I can make, not boasting on what I know. Come on now. But what I've lived. Yes. yes, Lord. That he will not forsake you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I promise you. <clears throat> Based on what I know yes, about yes, God, yes, Lord. that He is an on time God, yes, yes, he is. a loving yes, he is. and compassionate God. You say yes, he is. That, yeah, you're going to go through it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you you're not. Mm -hmm. 
You're going to have your struggle. Yeah. But I can tell you through experience, my promise to you yes. is that if your promise is rooted in the belief of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almighty God, yes, Lord. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, yeah, 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 yeah. then I promise you yes, Lord. that you will not be disappointed yes, by what the Lord is going to do say right. that, say for that. and with you. Yes, Amen. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. On the cross. Hallelujah. Thank Lord. On the cross, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. In the worst position that any king had ever been in on the cross. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Was elevated yes. because of the promise his father yes, made. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory be. Glory be. Yes, Lord. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hey, yes, Lord. Hey. Yes, Lord. Hey. Jesus, to the promise he rose yes. to the heavens yes, because of the promise his yes, father yes, made. Yes, 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 Lord. That you will be at my right side. Oh, yes. He's a promise keeper. Oh, yes. Goes way back, way back, yeah. way back, yeah. way yeah. back, yeah. way back, way back. He's got a history. Yes, Lord. So come on up, come on up, come on up. Yes, come on up because he's waiting, he's waiting yes, for Lord. you, he's waiting. Yes, come up, come up, come up, come up, yes, come up. Lord. He's waiting, he's waiting. He's a promise keeper. You don't yes, have to Lord. depend on. Yes, Hallelujah. The dreams of futile men yes, that Lord. need to be on their knees right now. Yes, yes. Everybody, the yes, heavens and earth, will one day bow and every tongue shall declare. Yes. Holy, yes. holy, holy. Yes. Oh, yes. Lord. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Oh, God. Yes, they will. Mm. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus, Jesus, that you can rest your head on and know that he's going to meet you and keep his promise. Won't you make him your savior today? Yes. Lord Jesus, yes, say that. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come to you today seeking you, nobody else, to be my Lord, be my savior. I believe that you lived and died for me. I believe that. Say that. I believe that. And then say, I believe that you rose for me with all power. You rose from the dead for me that I may know the power that you have over death itself. Then God, I believe, Lord God, that right now you are sitting at the right side of your heavenly Father. And because I believe, I am saved. And now, I can partake of your promises. Give God the glory. As customary, I usually leave us with a scripture to read. And I would encourage you to read 2 Peter 3. Amen. In its entirety. Amen. 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 And just meditate Amen. on that scripture. Amen. And then if that's not enough for you, go on over to Joshua. All right. Amen. And just take some time there, reading the first three 
chapters of Joshua. Can you imagine getting the assignment to lead the people of Israel? But God had promised him. Yes. And he had promised the people of Israel that they would get into the what? Promised land. And in 2021, we are going to take that same pilgrimage. We're going to go into a new season. Amen. And we're going to need to leave all of the pain and the struggle that we went through in 2020 behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you won't have enemies. Look at this. Come on now. When the Israelites left that place that they were in and went into the promised land, the Lord put them flat dab in the middle of their enemy. Yeah, Amen. yeah, yeah. Where his power worked. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But if you don't bring your extra baggage, <laughs> then you'll have room for God's promises. Mm -hmm. You'll fill up those extra baggages of pain that you're going to leave behind. I'm looking forward to leaving my behind. Yeah. It doesn't mean I'm going to forget. Mm -mm. Because there's a scripture in Joshua that says, don't forget your stone. That's right, that's right. And when they crossed over, he told them to put stones down to remember where they came from. Yes, Lord. What they'd gone through. Yes, Lord. Doesn't want you to forget. Yes, But he doesn't want them to drag you along Amen. with you. That's right. So my prayer is that we will continue to believe in his promises. Yes, yes, Lord. And now as we get ready to leave this house, yes, Lord. never his presence. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. Now may the God of peace who brought you up from the dead, our Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. the great shepherd of the sheep, yes, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. and ratified an eternal covenant yes, with his blood. Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. May he equip you yes, with Lord. all you need yes, for Lord. doing his will. Yes. May he produce in you through the power of Jesus Christ yes. every good thing yes, Lord. that is pleasing to him yes, Lord. and all glory to him yes. forever and ever. And let the church say, Amen. 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 And God bless you. Thank you.